So hi, Cameron. Hello, howdy doody. My name is Cameron, better known as Venus Theory. This is the UVI booth. This is Nam, and you're and you're watching Sonic State. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is first up Quadra Traveler. This is one of the new soundwares from UVI. This is a continuation of the Quadra series, as the name implies. It's based on four instrument layers, and we have this X Y grid where we can start blending between them. Then we can dive into each of these layers and start tweaking tons of different things. Every layer has amp, filter, envelopes, all sorts of stuff, individual effects per layer, and where the sound of Quadra really comes from is the arpeggiator. So every single layer of Quadra has an individual arpeggiator with four different pages, different step types, linking, repeats, individual panning, all sorts of crazy stuff. And within the library, we have a ton of different world instruments. So we have Electric basses, acoustic basses, uh, localized regional instruments. We've got keyboards, metal and wood, strings, synths, transient noises, winds, and you can combine any of those things on any of these layers however you see fit. So we've got more kind of traditional sequence stuff based on these instruments, and it goes into further territory with things like the hybrid section where they're taking these sounds, combining them with more intense effects and different combinations. So here we have a mandolin, a piano, bagpipes, and a synth layer. Combining sort of electronic and acoustic in a different way than the other libraries because this has a focus more on regional instruments. So there's all sorts of interesting timbres and textures and things like that. And of course, we could dive into the effects section and start adding reverb, delay, drive, compressor, EQ, master, maximizer to clean things up. We can pan these layers. We can tune these layers. We can restrict them to a certain key range, which if we wanted to do the piano uh, up here, for instance, we can actually just learn this with the listen button. So I'm just going to put that up here, and we'll put this mandolin starting below. So now we can key split these and create something like this. And that is basically Quadra Traveler as fast as I can explain it. So um, is this uh, out and available now? Yes, Quadra okay. Traveler is out. It's been out for a little while now, but it's the newest edition in the Quadra series. So this really complements the Quadra metal and wood in kind of an interesting way, where metal and wood is much more percussive, mostly metal and wood based <laughs> things. <laughs> and then we have Quadra Harmonics, which is right here, muted in harmonics. So this is Totally forgot to load a preset there. This is the first Quadra, what really kind of brought everything to life. And you can hear, even though it's based on sort of the same overall flow and architecture, it's four layers. Each layer has controls and sequencers and all that. It's a very different vibe altogether. So the Quadra series plays really well together and, of course, with other libraries and stuff you might have. So it's a good way to combine interesting sounds and textures and rhythms and really take, you know, even just a simple chord and start building an entire phrase and idea and create something interesting. Cool. Um, so there was, uh, there was something else we were going to be looking at. Yes. Right? The other one is Percussion Factory. So this is Let's grab a, uh, something here. All right, uh, got to find which key it is. Okay, this is Percussion Factory. Percussion Factory is based on eight instrument layers. You can, of course, select 
whatever you want. We have all sorts of stuff. So let's change this out for uh, Castanet, I guess. All right. Let's maybe change this out for uh, Cowbell, always. Always more. Well, you know, actually, for that, let's add another. Why not? Because there's different types of cowbells. We'll do double cowbell percussion factory. Away we go. So how, how are we kind of sequencing these? What's so the this is all based around the eight layers, and these eight layers could be different lengths. They have different rhythms. So they're kind of based on, like, Euclidean rhythms. And what's interesting about this is we can start doing something like the decimate knob here to take away steps and simplify the sequences. But this can be automated. And we're completely changing up the groove. The intensity changes like the dynamics of the performance. Of course, that could be automated in a session as well. We have the tone, room, and swing. We can control the overall number of steps to really simplify things. So really within just these, the steps and intensity macros, or sorry, the steps and decimate macros, if we decrease the decimate and increase the steps a bit, Lots of different things to explore, but where this really starts to get interesting is something like the magic generation preset here. So if we generate a brand new preset, the interesting thing to note is that this has an intelligent randomization in that it understands what type of instrument or percussive instrument each of these layers is, and it will create a groove based on the usual performance of that instrument. So every time we hit this, totally different thing. Of course, if you like maybe the instruments, but you don't like the sequence, you can lock these. So it'll randomize only specific aspects of it. Diving well, in further, we can edit each of these. We can edit the sequence. We can edit the division of the sequence. We can go right, in okay. and adjust pretty so much we, everything. So if we liked the sequence but not the voice, could we? Yep, yep. we can change that okay. as well. So you can really just generate everything as much as you want. Or we could just go in and pick different instruments. We could go back and lock something and then start generating again. So we're generating just the sequences now and not the instruments. And yeah. So are the sequences kind of based on any uh, like real world examples, or are they? Yeah, how how so does it know? Uh, if we go into the sequence presets here, there's things like shake presets, which are kind of like you know a shaker groove, like da -da 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 -da. you know you would do that with a shaker. Whereas if I'm playing a, a big taiko drum or something, I'm probably not going da -da 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 along with the shaker. I might be kind of getting a backbeat accent or something. And if I'm playing congas, it'll choose between these based on the type of instrument and each of these performance types is really based on that school of playing you know whatever specific thing we're talking about so that's why if we have like the plastic blocks here as versus a conga or we'll get the cajon here bring in a shaker really does give you an authentic groove with every layer. Where this really becomes fun, though, is that you can actually load in your own samples to any of these. So if you like just the groove, but maybe you want to use this for like a dark electronic album and you want like really interesting polyrhythms and phrases and things like that, you could drag in kick drums, snares, whatever you want. And within each sample, we do have uh, let's get something like a shaker here. We do have deeper controls for each of the instrument layers, where with something like the shakers, we can auto-align them so that the actual, I guess what we would consider the transient of a shaker, you know that center point in the motion of shh, it can actually auto-align things like shakers so that the shake is actually perfectly in time. And we can turn that off. Which I guess would make maybe more sense against something else. 
So it's kind of slightly out, and now if we align it. Now that doesn't work with samples that you import, but if you want to align things, there's the offset control here. So if you drag in your own samples, you can control that sort of pre-shifting effect. Uh, of every layer also has its own effects. We have a master effects bus, so just reverb, delay, drive, maximizer, and an EQ. And that is Percussion Factory. Oh, and you also get random names when you generate stuff, uh, which <laughs> is usually pretty great, honestly. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> um, and so that is also available now. Do you know prices? Maybe not you're not the guy hand. to ask, but I'm sure we can find that anyway. Yeah. Um, so both of these, I guess it is worth mentioning, both of these run within the free UVI workstation, so you don't need Falcon to run these. But if you do own Falcon or you get Falcon, you can actually start diving in deeper to all of these libraries, start playing with the sample mapping, start playing with the effects that are available to you, and really take these to a totally different place. Brilliant. With that, uh, everything else, and you know, these and everything else is also with Sonic Pass, which is the UVI subscription. That gives you everything they make, including all the soundware, all the Falcon expansions. You get Falcon, you get Shade, you get Phasor, uh, all the other plugins I'm kind of blanking on, the delay, all that stuff. So everything is included with Sonic Pass. Or if you don't want to do that and you just want this, there are permanent licenses available as well. Brilliant. Well, Cameron, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>